Hi, my name is Marie Glasman and I'm a senior at Trinity School at Greenlawn. This year, I learned about how a paleo crypto system works and implemented it with the help of Python. A crypto system is typically three algorithms that work together to first generate a code, then to encrypt the code, and lastly, decrypt the code. For example, if you took the ABCs and encrypted it, you would get two keys. The first would be the public key that creates a random code that encrypts your data to be secure from outsiders. You can share the public key, but do not share the private key because the person who has the private key can use it to decrypt your data. In this picture, you can see how the ABCs turn into a jumble of random symbols and letters, which is encryption. And with the use of the private key, the encrypted code can be turned back into the ABCs, which is called decryption. In the diagram, you can see the green key is the public key and the red key is the private key. On the bottom example, the red key is the public key and, the, and with the red key, you cannot decrypt the ABCs. The Paleo Crypto System was named after Pascal Paleo, who invented it 22 years ago. The homomorphic encryption properties of the Paleo Crypto System define it. Homomorphic encryption is a form of encryption that allows a person or a computer to form computations on the data without decrypting it, aka having the private key. Paleo Crypto Systems have additive homomorphic properties and multiplicative homomorphic properties. This means that a computer or user can add or multiply the encrypted data. This can be useful for voting because each person can encrypt their vote for better security. For example, if one is for one of the candidate and zero is against the candidate, the person can vote, cast their vote as one or zero, then encrypt their vote and the data can be added up without needing the private key, which belongs to the person who cast each vote. The way I applied a paleo crypto system was with the help of Python. First, I installed a Python library that collects codes that can be used to encrypt or decrypt numbers or letters. Here's the library that I used. Furthermore, I generated a private key with a list of the ABCs and then encrypted the secret list. With this, I can only decrypt the ABCs with my own private key. After the in installing the library, I used it to encrypt two lists. After encrypting the two lists, I used the linear regression formula to perform homomorphic addition and multiplication to find the correlation between the two lists. This is necessary because it is essential to understand how the homomorphic encryption can be applied to data analysis and what data analysis is compatible with such an approach. Any questions? All right, yeah, absolutely. Um, so Maria, I'm wondering why um, Python is a good software for this type of um, uh, encryption process and if it is a good software at all. I don't think big corporations use Python. They probably have their own types of coding websites. But for my specific project, I use Python because it was readily available and it also has many different libraries you can install it and use for easy access to anybody, including just regular people. Whereas big companies don't really want other people to have access to their libraries because then it gives way to many hackers and other people. Interesting. Thank you, Maria. Um, and then I'm just wondering, was it harder than you thought to do this or not too bad? It was very hard because <laughs> I went in knowing nothing about Python or crypto systems or anything else. So it was a challenge. Well, thanks for doing it because um, I learned lots of great information. So I'm very much appreciative of you. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, Elsa, for listening. <laughs>